Yo, what's up? It's me, Shirazen. And I'm gonna play this game. Hive Swap. Hive Swap. Uh, Hive Swap, uh, with a little bit of background. Uh, Hive Swap, it's, uh, it's an adventure game, classic adventure game style, uh, based in the Homestuck universe, the hated and loved webcomic uh, that destroyed Newgrounds. Uh, we, 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 we destroyed Newgrounds. And not, that's not the primary reason why... Uh, it's just... What up? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We're gonna play this game. Uh, I hope the... I hope the... The sound for the game is turning up. That would be... We could turn it up just a bit. I've already messed with this, but we might need it a little bit higher. You know, I might go as far as to grab some headphones uh, and turn it up in the recorder, uh, in OBS, but eh, whatever. Let's, uh, okay, I think we're good. Uh, let's uh, watch this intro cutscene. Now this is the only thing I've seen so far. I've seen this, and that's it. Uh, because of the trailer is pretty much the only reason I saw it. Look at the dog. It's it, it's it's Toby. Okay. Uh, all I know is that that's brother and sister. Brother with the binoculars. Sister with the. Whoa. Sister with the weird boots. Are those? Are those? I don't know what those are. And then we got some shit. There we go. This is the beginning of the game. Uh, I'll go ahead and narrate every single thing that I read. Because uh, I'm going to be watching my own footage back uh, for drown out purposes. It's going to be... It's going to be alright. Uh, your name is... Uh, sorry, you're going to need a minute. Mm. <sighs> okay, you gave yourself a minute to freak out because of the monster... The thing with all the legs and teeth. The one you barely got away from. <sighs> Man, it's up, though. You take a deep breath and let the uncertainty slip away into the toothy, arm-raggled darkness and focus on what you need to know. Your name is Joey Clare. You live just outside the town of Haunt Switch. You are, in no in particular order, a puzzle solver, a semi-orphan, a dancer of multiple schools, an aspiring veterinarian, and a big sister. The most important one of all. Speaking of, that monster, the one that barely missed eating you alive, not only... Only you're not thinking about that right now. It might be headed back outside where your little brother is. You've got to go... You've got to go warn him. Here we are. We're in the game. There's some good art. we got some art going on. I'm not sure what the menu does yet. Uh, I've took some steps. Transitions are smooth. Animation... What? Do you see that? There's a... Oh, okay. I wonder if those are monsters. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll start exploring this stuff. We'll start on this side of the room and head over. These posters, they resonate so powerfully with the very core of your being, the animals, the magic, and the power. They whisper to you in your dreams, secrets of a better world on the other side of the stars. Huh. Is that all of them? That's all of them. Uh, you can check the calendar. It's, November, it's the 11th of November. Today started off just like any other day, with another sunrise and the sound of the songbirds going hog wild out there in the trees. But their songs have all but stopped, and now there's something going there's something else going on hog wild out there. You don't know what it is, but it ain't birds, and it sure as heck ain't hogs. Okay, looks like we got some problems. She already knows that there are problems. If she's already written that down, she knows that there are problems. We can we can infer that. Let's turn the lights on. The lights are trash. We're gonna keep the lights off. This art is way better with the lights off. The lighting in here is really good. Uh, with the glowing, we got this going on. It's pretty good. Uh, let's check the shoes. 
Oh, we can equip them? Along with ballet, you study tap dancing. You haven't decided which you prefer. Ballet is fun, but tap's also fun in a different kind of way. You've considered blending the two, wearing one tab shoe and one ballet shoe at the same time, but have decided to fully master both and earn the respect of your teachers before unveiling your boundary-shattering ballop style to the world. Very, uh, very ambitious, Joey is. Let's equip these. You add the tab dance... Oh, shit. Abilitech? To your techniche? Your techniche. Yep, those are words that refer to those concepts. You learned them literally just now. These will help if there's anything you need to shake up, or shake off, or if you're in, in just in the mood to shake it. You got a button up here. Let's mark this calendar. Oh, no, it's the same thing. They're the, they're the same. That's the same thing. Okay. The bell issues didn't show up on her. That's fine. I thought they would. Uh... Okay, we must be able to interact with objects through that. Uh, the the technique. Check this. It's easy to make your very own cake, or something like that. You were really excited to get this for your birthday last year, but you ran out of baking stuff pretty quick. You could use regular sugar and flour or whatever, but it's not like those things are just sitting around. It's not like you have those things just sitting around. Who does, honestly? People with moms, I guess. That was fucking depressing. Let's bake something. You're all out of baking stuff. You're not too busted up about it, though. You're pretty tough. What a badass. She got boots on. Can we... Talk about hot-stepping. Well, lukewarm stepping. Uh-huh. It's a wizard globe. Your babysitter gave you this for your birthday. Joey, she said. This wizard's the best. He lives in his little wizardy orb, just swimming in spells and glitter. He will protect you. Look, he's doing it right now. Your babysitter loves wizards, obviously. She's pretty great. Roxy? That might be... Who knows? I don't want to make assumptions. Can we dance to the wizard? That was very impressive. You do a few steps from Twirlin' Merlin, your thus far unfinished showcase of wizard-themed dancing. This one's the Pyromancer's Hot Step. That's pretty dope. Let's see it again. Hype. What else do we have? We got books. Let's look at the books. You've got more pressing concerns right now than the books report than the book report that you have to hand in on Monday. Besides, none of these books are appropriate choices for a book report, according to your teachers. The teachers seem oddly fixated on award-winning books which where beloved dogs are introduced and then inevitably die. You kind of hate your teachers sometimes. Wow. Can we dance to the books? You've got a couple books on the subject, but tam dancing, as the preferred hot stepping of the unpretentious working class, has been largely snubbed by the literary elite. I wonder, as we get more of these items, the amount of dialogue is just going to s skyrocket like a motherfucker. Um, it could, if we got a bunch of items like this. Every single thing would have to be written for all these. Oh. No way, you don't want to startle the nice animals, especially given their incredibly ob their obviously incredible magical powers. Yeah, she, she looks scared. Should I be really interacting with all this? I mean, it's an adventure game, come on. Okay, this is the same thing as these books. What's up here? Nothing? Bad picture. Oh. Look. Puppy surprise is having puppies. How many? That's the surprise. Puppy surprise. Puppy surprise. That's weird. Ah, whenever you look at this thing, the song from that commercial runs through your head like a snake monster on an autumn afternoon. Wow, that's meta. It's a great place to stash your keepsakes, where they stay as safe as a teen hiding in their bedroom from a snake monster. Search? You search inside the expectant plush canine. And surprise puppy is having puppies. Oh, what the fuck? That's a Lord English looking key and a regular key. Look at that weird face. These look weird. She actually came with five puppies, but you gave two away to make room for other stuff. You don't know how any you don't know anyone else who got five. Some kid from school got four in hers, and she wouldn't shut up about it for a week. You, no, you're not one to brag, but yeah, you walked with the little spring in your step for a while. After birthing that quintet of pups, maybe you five puppy people are just cut from a different cloth. Look. Ah yes, no one would ever think to look for that in your precious di your precious diary key in inside a plush mother dog. Least of all your brother, who is upset he didn't get one of the puppies. Jude can be pretty melodramatic. Melodramatic. Oh, his, uh, his name is Jude. 
Speaking of precious keys, there's also a beautiful old trinket that used to belong to your mom. You have no idea what it is, but looking at it reminds you of her. Honestly, you're not sure you'd be comfortable leaving it here with everything that's going on. Let's take... You got the diary key. While you're at it, you think maybe you should keep this beautiful heirloom of your mom's clothes. Just a feeling. A deep, unexplicable, impossible to ignore feeling. That's a lot of stuffed animals. They should be pretty safe on the shelf, which is the point of shelves. Okay, that's all the same. They're a very appreciative audience, as always. Surprisingly, no one fell off the shelf this time. Yeah, she's probably hitting the floor really fucking hard. There's spiders right there. Is that spiders? I can't zoom in. You try to remember if Calissa ever got in any jams like this. You have, to, you have so much in common. Annoying little brother, computer in your room, and the second story bedroom. Uh, as much as you hate to admit it, Calissa's life deviates from yours on a number of risks. Vertices? Ver yeah, there we go. Her parents were around. She had a cool friend who was a boy, but not her boyfriend. No monsters in the yard, etc. So that must be the ballet dancer right there. Oh no, it's the poster. Oh. Let's get the bag. Your babysitter got you this junior veterinarian's med kit. It's kind of important to you, so you think you'll leave it here for now. It would really bust you up if something happened to it. Okay, cool. Closet? Let's look. This is where you keep your clothes. You consider your fashion statement to be fun and comfortable and try to model yourself on Clarissa, which is... okay. Ah, Cl Clarissa. She really does explain quite a few things. Except, of course, precisely where she gets her clothes and how she manages to look so great all the time. Let's look in. Let's change clothes. You could try on some new clothes, but what's a style montage without at least one party offering cons compulsory reaction shots for each outfit? Who's going to give you an affirming head nod when you finally nail it? There are important things to consider before you carelessly plunge headlong into a style montage. <coughs> Let's look at the posters. One day you hope to be a veterinarian. Then you can be one. F you can be the one caring for the fuzzy-faced baby critters. <sighs> Someone catches. So when someone catches you in the act of snuggling them all and tells you to take a hike, you can flash your vet badge and say you're here on professional medical business, then they'll have to take the hike, not you. Oh, there's a phone. Look. Shit. There we go. Your walkie-talkie, half a set. Your brother has the other. Could come in handy. Boop. Yoink. Feels a little light. Uh-oh. Yep, no batteries. You remember cannibalizing the walkie-talkie when something else needed them? You can't really recall exactly that something else was. Damn. Check the computer. Your modem always makes a mighty racket logging you on. Probably not worth riling up in any hallway riling up any hallway snakes to surf your sights right now. It's not like there's much new to see anyway. You're sure that Jude would have let you know if anyone in your web brain had updated their sights. Nothing in the drawers. Oh, this is Sir Babby Panswatter, your beloved Manthro chap. The f you tend to be his, you, you tend to his fussy whims and needs. When you trouble to imagine what they might be, what a daring, what a daring, what a daring dream to combine the finest quanti qualities of the animal kingdom with the nobility of humanim, humanimals. Wait, you mean humanity? What? Anyway, Sir Babby Pansorder will have to tend to his own fussy whims and needs for a while. You've got a lot of crap on your plate right now. Let's go over here. This is gonna be some good art. Oh, oh my god, there's so much shit in this game. She got games. Uh, your prodigious collection of titles for your console's hungry, cartridge-shaped mouth. All the best ones are here. Well, all the ones you happen to own are here. You can spend all day listening to them. There's Bubsy, there's... Mentioning Bubsy made you feel a little queasy, so you actually think you'll stop there. You might go lie down for a bit, actually. Damn. Fucking shade. Can you turn that off? <laughs> there's more than enough. There's more than enough of that. No, no more. She'll let her face. The goal of the game is to get four of your colored circles in a row before your opponent, who's trying to do the same. You can also theoretically connect five if you're a showy jerk. Yeah. Canadian Campfire Spookums is the best. It's about these kids who get together in the woods every week, and one of them throws some dust in the fire and they tell a crazy story. And that crazy story is the episode. You guess you kind of focus more on the framing narrative than you did on the stories, but whatever. This is the best. Just like you said. Let's see. Are these all different? They are. I don't want to read all these, but I will. The story keeps happening. Just look at that childlike empress. 
She looks pretty pleased with herself for someone who's only in the movie for about five minutes. Hmm. That looks dope as fuck. The bounty hunter's advice for dealing with monsters would be probably to shoot them or change your shape or both at once. Just cool, but pretty difficult to emulate. Okay, that's the same thing. Cool. Oh! That, okay. The, that little girl there, she's destined for big things, big hopes, big fears, big worries, big lonelinesses. Now hold on, put yourself together. What would your mom say if she knew you were thinking that? You really wish you knew. Oh. Since she's been gone, you've seen less and less of Paul over the years. I guess he had greener pastures to move on to, or bluer beauties. Look. That's a diary. You usually don't have much to record in here on account of the humdrum life you lead, but you think today will be a different story. Maybe you should take a moment to record a note now, just in case this is your last chance to set down your final words before your tragic demise at the hands of a horrible snake thing. Right. It's locked. If you wish to gain access to your long buried or recently buried secrets, you'll have to use the diary key. You unlock and open your diary. Nice. Juicy secrets. Here you come. Except they're just your boring secrets, so you don't care. There's a lot of shit going on in here. Joey Claire. I'm just gonna read all of it. Look. Oh. Maybe something from your past will shed light on today's terror mysteries. Some little detail, mentioned offhand and forgotten. The key kicking off a casual cascade of connections that terminates in the catastrophe of snake monsters. April 13th. April 13th, 1994. Dear Diary. Ho oh, hum, nothing much has happened today. I tried to make some new friends at school to maybe expand our social circle beyond just me and Jude's friends all the time. Wait, it's not weird to call my brother's friends my social circle. Oh well, you know what I mean, diary. I don't have any friends I can really call mine, so I'm just trying to branch out. I guess it's better than calling them my web brain. Kids at school are jerks though. They call me a poser when I tried to talk to them about games I like. Between you and me, I think all the kids at school might be evil? Jeez, now I'm sounding all paranoid like my brother. I guess they're just up to no good. I can feel it. June 12th, 1994. Dear Diary, Woo, first day of summer vacation. I can't wait... I can't... I can't wait to get a break from all those clowns at school. Sometimes I think what I really need is a vacation from humanity. Joey. Oh. October 25th, 1994. Dear Diary, I can't believe I haven't recorded an entry since the beginning of last summer. Needless to say, I've been, on I've been back to school for a while now. Next summer can't s come soon enough. Sad face. I came home to a drunk babysitter again today. <sighs> Sure is some quality of adult supervision we youngsters are getting around here. She means well, though. Haven't heard from Pa in the last few weeks. We saw Last we saw of him, he popped in the house to drop off more stupid mummies or globes or whatever, and then skipped off to go on more adventures. What a bozo. Also, how lame is it that he made us call him Pa instead of Dad while we were growing up? Aw, oh, I miss Mom. If this is going to be your last entry in your diet, then by gum, you're going to have to scare the bejesus out of whoever finds it once you're a snake chow. November 11th, 1994. Dear Diary, forgive me my hasty and nervous scribblings. I'm kind of scared, but maybe also a bit excited? Anyway, can't talk now. There's a sly and cunning monster on the prowl. Possibly hungry for kid meat, too, so I've got to... Okay, I don't have a darn clue what I have to do, but I'll fill you in later once I do it. Joey. <sighs> Satisfied, you've done your duty vis-a-vis -vis posterity in case the worst should happen. You're, you relock your diary and hide the key again, safe and sound. I don't need- Oh, these pens are great! There's a bear over there. Those fucking things are sh- Oh, we gotta look. look. You really get a charge out of this game. It's kind of bossy, though. Let's try it. Challenge. Alright, oh, that's where you put the walkie-talkie batteries. You'll just take them back out. Okay, one more game for old time's sake for us. Jude's probably fine. What? Oh, looks like the green button isn't working. Well, nostalgia satisfied. Might as well scavenge the batteries. Yoinked! Those are some big ass batteries. Got Ruby's cubes, and there's nothing really else in here to look at. Appreciate. 
You give it a good hard stare. Yeah, you're appreciating the heck out of this art. It would be difficult, if not impossible, for anyone to appreciate it more. That's how I feel about this game as a whole, actually. And I've only played it for, like, 20 minutes? Maybe more? Whoa! There are more monsters. There's the dog. It'd be nice if those monsters were as weirded out by that skull face as you are. Unfortunately, that thing is probably monster chic. Poor puppy. If that icky snaky thing hurts her, well, you'd use your buddy vet your budding veterinary skills to patch her up and make it all better. But you'd also be very angry. Right now, she doesn't seem to want to come out of her doghouse, and you don't blame her. Uh oh. Yikes! There's more of them. Gentrification is a real monster. Wow. Blistering social commentary aside, we sincerely hope you and your brother aren't killed and eaten by these eyeless horrors. Okay, that's the same thing. Remember when you were raking up those leaves? Your dog knocked Jude over, and you laughed, and then everything turned to monsters. Ah, oh, memories. You briefly muse on the metaphorical significance of the flashing light. What could it represent? The past? The future? America? It's your stupid brother. You need to get in touch with him. Looks like Jude scurried up to his treehouse to get away from that thing. Surprising. Unsurprisingly. He acts like it's his mission control room up there. As a goofy kid, legitimately has any secret business of that sort. Outrageous. You don't let up there, he says. To which you reply, you'd rather, ste you'd rather step on a rake than set foot in his rickety little nerd hut. Smacked. You school him so often you should really be pulling in a teacher's salary. That's disgusting. The sun is set, making for a glorious autumn eve. As such, autumnal evening glory radiates from the heavens, kissing the clouds on its way down to earth. Well said, well said. What about those? Oh, I still can't talk to them. Oh, okay. Whoops. Oh, this way? Oh, yeah, let's... Success! The walkie-talkie works like a charm now. A charm with battery power. You feel pretty pleased with yourself. It would seem you just solved your first puzzle of many, on what is sure to be a sweeping adventure full of mysterious brain busters. Then again, putting batteries in the thing isn't technically solving a puzzle, you suppose. It is just overcoming a minor inconvenience that you yourself created using mundane, widely available modern technology. You don't care, though. You're counting it! I'm counting it. So, uh, what's the deal? Oh, shit. Jude, you there? Are you alright? Yes. Been covertly signaling status and requesting yours. Over. You mean the lantern? I don't know I don't know Morse code. Whenever we'll use such easily decipherable code. Over. Enemy agents everywhere. Over. Wait, unover. Still unconfirmed this abyss in your condition, following every enemy serpent encounter. Over. Please report bite status. How many and how gross? Over. We'll go with... We'll go with... I'm fine. Oh, I'm fine. No bites, you weirdo, but thank you for asking. It was close. Great. I was worried. Over. That reminds me. After I shut the door on it, I think I heard it clomping off back down the stairs. I don't think you should leave your treehouse anytime soon. It might be headed back your way. No plans of leaving current location. Yard crawling with Cryptid Vanguard. Over. Cryptid Vanguard? Missing bug picture, Joey. Over. Okay, maybe a little less obtuse then. Purely defensive posture, tactically suicide. Monsters likely just distraction. Could have obscured additional agents on approach. Over. Do you mean like more monsters? Can't discuss on uncertain channel. Can't be certain who's listening. But evidence points to Antares class conspiracy cascade. Over. Uh. <laughs> Uh, did you forget our discussion on conspiracy graduation nomenclature? Over. Literally as it was happening, yes. It was Antares bad. Really bad. In the heart of the scorpion, Joey. Over. Okay, sounds like a good reason to not leave my room and get killed. Trust... <laughs> Trust crucial on the battlefield, Joey. Hoping presence of monsters has tipped equation away from typical skepticism. Over. I trust you. Okay, that's... that's fair. Okay. What do I need to know? Your current position not secure. Large yard facing windows. Location compromised to enemy. Situation rapidly deteriorating. Must abscond to attic, Joey. Over. The attic? Yes, the attic. Strong door. With well stocked well stocked with tactical material. Left take out of bedroom to go upstairs. Highest room in the house, over. I know what the attic is, Jude. It was just a weird suggestion. What else is new? More inscrutable rambling from my treehouse lunatic brother? Don't understand. You sounded confused. Trying to help. Over. 
look, just shut up, okay? I'll sneak up there, I'll lock the door, and you can... Call the cops? Negative. Must assume local law enforcement compromised. All right, 911 blocked our number after all your prank calls. Drills, not pranks. Xenomorph incursion preparedness drills. Look. Failed miserably by fat cat xenomorph collaborators of Haunt Switch PD. Jude, on our own. As a house, as a species, over. Jude, I'm going to do this. I'm going to. Do, I'm going to go to the stupid attic, okay? I'm sorry for being mean. Do you have your weapon? Over. What weapon? What weapon? You mean my old weapon? Serpents swarming everywhere, over. You want me to fight them with a flashlight? Don't blame you for being nervous with high con concentration of serpent presence. Must be brave. Your brother believes in you and knows you can beat the serpents, over. Stop saying serpents. I do not. Re do you recall where your weapon is? Yes, it's in the closet. Un all understood. All said then, over. Oh, no, I mean hall closet. Crap, over. <sighs> yeah, well, I guess I'll have to take your word about this. Are you are sure about all this, right? Absolutely, extremely certain. Over. Over and out, squirt. Okay, here we go. The hall closet. Oh, God. Who is safe? Uh, we're gonna save this as... What? Oh, it was lagging. Oh. Sure is in. Boom. She's so cute. Look at her. We'll do one more dance. Worth. Let's go. And, uh, looks like the coast is clear for now. Achievement unlocked. It wasn't locked. Uh, and I will stop for now, because I did that intro, uh, and I read all those things, and there's a billion more things. That's a troll. Okay, I can't click on a large one. This soundtrack is so good. Look at those disgusting skulls. Oh, there, okay, we'll get to this message, uh, when I'm done. Birdie, hurry over to the hallway closet and retrieve your weapon before that crafty old serpent, you mean snake, can get to the- get the drop on you. Alrighty. Save again. Choose in. Okay. Alright, yep. I'm, I'm fine with that. And, uh, I'll be right back. We're gonna change recordings. I'm gonna test this one, uh, make any necessary adjustments. I might turn this music though, because this music got loud as hell. Uh, plus, I choose the bathroom like a motherfucker. So, yeah. Uh, game, good, art, good, writing, typical Andrew Hussey tier writing. It's pretty good so far. Uh, we'll see how the story goes. And we'll check this message next time. And then we'll look at this. We gotta explore these buttons. Peace!